Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. Now in today's video, I wanted to address a question that quite a lot of you guys have been asking recently in a lot of my videos and that is to do with what I'm wearing on my back. But, I wasn't just going to make a video saying, hey, this is the Hunter Cloak you guys have all been asking for. No, I figured I'd make things a little bit more interesting and show you my top 5 Hunter Cloaks. This will span both the original vanilla Destiny and also some of the stuff that I've got in the dark below. So, let's kick things off by taking a look at number 5. Now this first one here I actually got from a rock strike the other day, it's called the hard case cloak and if you look at the icon it doesn't look that special, in fact it looks like a lot of the cloaks you often got from class item engrams back in sort of like you know the original game, it doesn't look very special and I was ready to dismantle it without even looking at it but I decided you know what let me just press Y and let me just check out what it actually looks like and when you look at it it actually looks pretty cool. I've had a lot of the cloaks that are like this before but they've never had this sort of bloody kind of distressed look with all the holes in it and if I back out for a second and spin around, as you can see here, it is actually a short cloak, so it's not actually, you know, as long as, say, the Vault of Glass one, or anything like that. But if I check it out in the uh, game world, with the lighting, it does look quite cool. It probably doesn't suit the shader that I've got, but I do just like the sort of distressed look with it. And obviously, if I wore sort of some armor that doesn't look quite so sort of pristine, then it would probably look a hell of a lot better. In fact, let me just quickly go and change my shader. You can actually probably see what it looks like. Let's pick something like the Cryptographic. That seems like an optimal sort of shader for that one. There you go. Doesn't look so bad that time. So... That is the hard case cloak. Now let's move on to number four. This is the HLD Starwinder cloak. This was a cloak that you could buy from the Vanguard and from the Crucible vendors back before the Dark Below came out. They have obviously refreshed their stock since and they do now sell different cloaks, but this was for sale back then from those guys. Now this looks really, really cool. It's got this cool design on the back. And if I actually jump out for a second, so you can see that it is a really long cloak. It does join at the bottom, which is the only kind of sort of negative thing about this. It looks a little bit weird the way they're sort of like tied together. But it does look pretty damn cool when you're sort of running around. Especially again if you have sort of a slightly more distressed looking shader. So I particularly like this one with the God of War shader on. Just because it looks all red and cool. Like so. As you can see, obviously my gauntlets don't change colour. But that does look pretty damn cool. Then moving on to number three, you have the Red Eclipse Cloak. Now this is, I was kind of like torn between whether to put this second or third, but this is still one of my favourite cloaks. It just looks really, really awesome. This is one of the ones you can buy from both the Vanguard and the Crucible vendors. Uh, right now it was added in the dark below. Looks really cool. Again, it's got this sort of like distressed, kind of torn look, which looks really nice, kind of repaired on the side as well. And there are two versions of this one as well. This one's got this sort of like radio communicator on the shoulder, which I kind of like, but you can get a version without that. So if you see... What it looks like like that. It does look really, really cool. I think this one probably looks best when I use uh, Eris's first shader, which is the pre dawn one, because then it comes out red with a sort of like green bit on there and it looks really, really cool. So that is number three. That's the Red Eclipse Cloak. Then coming in at number two, this is Cloak of the Shadowjacks. Now, this I also got from a Rock Strike the other day, but this one I have never seen before. The icon actually looks similar to that of the ones, the, the cloaks that you get from the faction guys, but this is instead a regular rare cloak. And it looks really, really cool. If I spin around here, you can see that it's got this uh, sort of like circle design in the back. It's quite short, this one, but it's just really, really sort of like different. And again, it was one of those rare cloaks that I was just ready to sort of like hit delete on or hit sort of like dismantle. But again, I double checked it. And in fact, that's probably like a, a point to note. Make sure even if you get rare items, especially now that the dot below is out, Definitely check what they look like before, definitely check their stats, because often, you know, you might just sort of like overlook it and think, oh, it's a rubbish item, but in actual fact, you might find a gem like this. So this is number two, and this is Cloak of the Shadowjacks. And then coming in at number one, this is the one that all of you guys have been waiting for. This will answer your question. This is what I've been wearing in all of my videos recently, and this is the AOS Cryptid Cloak. Now, this is a cloak that used to be sold by the Crucible vendor back in, back before the Dark Below came out. Unfortunately, it is now no longer available. It used to be the second cloak, so I think you had to be rank four or three or four with the Crucible, and you could actually buy this from them, but I actually got this from a legendary engram. So, that being said, I would imagine you can still get this from a legendary engram, but unfortunately that does still mean that you're going to then have to rely on random luck as opposed to being able to buy it. But this is the cloak I've been wearing, this is the cloak you guys have been asking, it's the AOS Cryptid and it is probably, I'd probably say it's my favourite cloak of all time. It looks really cool, I like how it's sort of like a thin bit that goes down the back, but it's also got this really cool sort of metal bit on the top as well. And it just seems to match really really nicely with my sort of new don't touch this gauntlets and everything like that. So this is my favourite cloak and this is the one that you guys have been wanting to know. So. 
that brings me to the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully it's now answered the question you guys have been asking. And if you did enjoy this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that like button down below and show your support. It does really help me out. And obviously don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming videos and much more Destiny coverage. Let me know in the comments down below what your favourite class item is. This doesn't just have to be Hunters. Obviously Hunters let me know what cloak you like the best. But if you're a Titan or if you're a Warlock, then still let me know what your favourite class item is. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.